my gosh. UFOs are real, but what really are they? NASA's newly formed 16-member panel is charged with figuring out how the space agency can use the tools of science to help the federal government understand what's going on in the sky and how it affects Earth. The study of unidentified anomalous phenomena represents an exciting step forward in our quest to uncover the mysteries of the world around us. NASA says citizens, commercial airline pilots, and the Department of Defense have reported at least 800 UAP sightings over the past 27 years. Between 2 and 5 percent of those events display signatures that could be anomalous, defined as anything that is not readily understandable by the operator or the sensor something that is doing something weird. Experts say identifying a UAP is like finding a needle in a haystack, especially since there's a lot going on in the sky. On any given day, there are 45,000 airline flights and 184 weather balloon launches in U.S. airspace. There are also 1.6 million recreational or model planes and 880,000 registered drones. And the environment that we fly in, space or you know, an atmospheric flight, very, very conducive to optical illusions. The panel says while UAPs exist, there is no evidence they are extraterrestrial in origin. We haven't found life beyond Earth yet, right? I mean, let's be clear about this. We haven't found it yet, but we're looking. A final report is expected by the end of July. Donya Backus, CBS News.